Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want us to have an honest conversation regarding themes, Gutenberg and the page builders. Because it seems that very soon we'll be seeing some of the products that we love so much disappear off the market or losing a big market share. And this is why. Just a week ago, ASO released a much more improved version of their Visual Builder plugin. And this Visual Builder plugin works natively with Gutenberg. And that means that you can use blocks to simply build up every other part of your website. And this product is called Spectra. The version 2.0 actually changes literally everything you thought about Gutenberg. I know most of you don't like Gutenberg because it doesn't have so many customization abilities, it doesn't have this, doesn't have that, but I think that is going to change very soon with the fact that most of the themes that are being released in the WordPress repository have to be Gutenberg compatible. That means that there will be a big ecosystem of not only plugins but also developers that are building for native users of Gutenberg. And I mean Gutenberg is a native WordPress page builder. I mean, I'm also not a fan of Gutenberg because I know when it started, there were so much limitations, but it looks like that is coming to an end. First of all, we literally had forgotten about themes because back in the days, about five, seven years ago, you had to look for a theme that is, if you're building a website, a theme that would basically give you the layouts and the features that you would love to have on your website. And in most cases, the themes would provide dummy content that you could easily import and get started building your website. And then we would play around with widgets in WordPress to be able to build a website the way we wanted it. But now that kind of disappeared because I know you guys have heard about WP Bakery, you've heard about Visual Composer, you've heard about DV, and now Elementor. So these tools have been giving us the power to create without actually even considering themes. We would just simply install a theme because maybe sometimes of its performance, but majorly because WordPress does require you to have a theme installed in order to be able to build anything on WordPress. But now it looks like we are also going to forget the page builders and just build natively in WordPress using Gutenberg and visual builders built basically for Gutenberg, the Gutenberg editor. And this is one of the exciting things because if you are building natively using tools that are built natively for the Gutenberg editor, then you're not only going to improve on your website performance, but also having less code running at the back end of your website. I mean, whenever you install a plugin or a third party plugin, there is more, much more additional code that is added on your website. and the more you limit how many plugins or add-ons or builders that you're using in WordPress, then the less clunky your website will be. And now with the new natively built tools for Gutenberg, this is going to enable us even have better performing websites. But now let's look into what Spectra is bringing to the table. Spectra is a visual website builder. If you've used Elementor, just think about Spectra, but for Gutenberg, why this is the case? Of course, they haven't yet really given us the power like Elementor is giving us yet, but they are promising that in the coming updates, which will include a theme builder, a pop-up builder, and also the dynamic content functionality. But now they're actually giving us some features that Elementor has taken ages to give to us. And one of that is the flexible containers. They are coming in Gutenberg with Spectra 2.0. So let's now first look into some of the features that Spectra is actually giving to us. For example, you'll be able to design your website visually. You'll be able to use the container layout or the flexible container. Obviously, you'll have a better SEO structure. And of course, your website will also perform better. You will also be able to use blocks. I mean, this is a Gutenberg-based visual editor. And I mean, you'll be able to build everything from the header, footer, and in future, obviously, we'll be able to also build up a theme using this Spectra tool. But what really excites me is the fact that you have so much ability to customize both for desktop and also for mobile and also be able to achieve some really complex layout using this visual editor because it not only gives you the power to create this, but they are also giving us some already pre-built websites. 
and these range from blogs and portfolios, e-commerce websites. Look at this layout, for example. Obviously, I can go into the starter templates, like over here, website templates, and here you can search for whatever you want. But here are some of the already pre-built layouts that you can use fully in Gutenberg using Spectra. And these are complete websites. I mean, you already have the power. We as web designers, we always want to have the power and the flexibility to make changes where we want and at the end of the day, be able to achieve what we really want to achieve visually, but also performance wise. And this is what Spectra is giving back to us. So you'll also have websites from all other categories like these in restaurants, e-learning, local businesses, big agencies, small or big agencies, I mean, and all this. And I mean, before we really never had the power to build such complex layouts in Gutenberg. And Spectra is giving us that power. And not only that, they have provided us with pre-built websites. First of all, all you'll need is a theme that is Gutenberg compatible. And the other is an add-on like Spectra that is going to give you all this power to create. And we as designers, everything we always want is the power to create and be able to express our creativity through the tools that we use. And Spectra is giving that back to us. So when we talk about speed, usability, and compatibility, like Astra says here, we are actually going to be getting more love from Google with a score of up to 100% in the core web vitals. And obviously a boost in our SEO with a clean code output and obviously a better and faster running website. And that is what search engines love. And all along we've been complaining about the bloat that is brought in by page builders and all that stuff. Now we are going to have zero bloat and there will be no dependencies on other third party files and external files and all that stuff. Talk about it. Spectra is solving that. If now we go straight and look into some of the other features that you'll need, especially if you're going to use this as your builder, you are going to have power really to create and play around with your typography and colors. You're going to be able to use the Flexbox containers like I have already mentioned. This feature is not yet even in Elementor. I mean, ha, we have always wanted the Flexbox containers, but Elementor has really like not given us this option yet. Of course, it's right now in the beta testing or alpha testing, whatever they call it, but we don't have it. And Spectra is here and he's offering us this feature, this option. We love this. We always wanted this. And now it's already in Spectra. I'm excited actually to check this out in like a separate other video. I think I will take you straight into this Flexbox container using the Gutenberg editor and Spectra and we see how far we can go. And now here Spectra is giving us 28 creative and unique blocks that we can use in our website as we're building and being able to customize anything and also one click presets. I mean like you can always use presets of blocks and use them anywhere. We can copy and paste styles of one block to another. This is actually awesome. Just like you have been doing with widgets in Elementor, you can copy a style and paste it to another widget. Now we are able to do it with Spectra. And if you are wondering where is Spectra coming from, actually Spectra is coming from an already reputable brand, which is Brainstorm Force. These are the developers of Astra, the most used WordPress theme, I should say. And so if they're giving us a product like WP Astra, then you should obviously know that it is coming from the right people who have been at this game for years. Now let's look into some of the features that actually came in Spectra 2.0. There are a lot more things they're mentioning here, but I'm going to just pick out a few that I think really stand out. One is the block presets, introducing block presets for most used blocks. Paste and copy styles, just like we've been doing with other widgets in the Elementor page builder. They are giving us also the power to load fonts locally and the preload fonts feature. Now this will enable us to reduce how much requests are made from our server and all that stuff. So this is awesome. Introducing font awesome six support, great. 
the Z index extension for Spectra, uh, they are giving us the container or the fact that we are able to use the flex container and having all these other custom and fancy block layouts for our website. That's awesome. And they made some improvements as well and all that stuff. But I thought you guys would be much interested in seeing what is really coming out in the version 2.0 of Spectra. How does this look like if you go into your WordPress website? So for example, when you go to plugins and add a new plugin, search for Spectra, install it and have it activated. And under settings, we'll have a new feature called Spectra. And right over here, you have, you know, like a welcome screen. So when we go to blocks and extensions, we now are able to activate some widgets and deactivate those that we don't need to use. And obviously you can filter based on the kind of widgets uh, that you want to use. In this case, they are not really widgets. <laughs> they are blocks because we are in the block editor. We can deactivate or activate them all at once by clicking one of these buttons. So when you go to settings, we can enable default content width. And over here, we can enter in what kind of content which do we want. And for the container padding, you can enable that we set a default padding for the containers. Same for the container elements gap and also for the blocks editor spacing. Obviously here you can enable copy paste style. You have all these features over here, enable templates button, version control. You can roll back to a previous version in case you fall into issues. Performance wise, you would want to enable that you load the Google fonts locally. This is good for your website and for the block settings. If there are blocks that require you to add a recapture, you can always add over here the recapture code from Google. And if you want to enable a coming soon mode, just activate that over here and then select a template that you've already created and voila. And these are some of the features that are coming in the pro version. The more exciting one is a theme builder, the pop-up builder and the dynamic content functionality just like it's already in Elementor, but also they are giving us the Instagram feed, the countdown timer, the comparison slider, and all that stuff. So if you feel convinced that this is the future, or you are not yet convinced, there is only one option right now, is you trying it out and make your own personal decision. Because for me, I think this is changing everything especially if you're building websites on WordPress, it's going to be a very tough decision to make whether to use a page builder, a visual editor built for Gutenberg. And I'm probably certain that with time, some of these products are going to catch up because it's not only Spectra that is giving uh, tools like Elementor, DV this much pace when it comes at developing of features, but there are many other tools like Spectra that are going to come up and it's going to be a very tough decision for us creators uh, to be able to choose which tool to use and it will go back to the basics. Do you want to build within WordPress or do you want to use a third party? Or where do you have more experience and where do you feel like you are able to build faster and be able to deliver your clients projects on time? Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. It has been nice that I would actually sit down and give you some heads up regarding what is really happening because when I saw Spectra 2.0 and really dive down deep to see what they are offering, I was shocked by how much they are putting out there. I was like, why not share a video? So let me know down in the comment box below if you are considering actually checking out Spectra or actually you think that Gutenberg and Gutenberg visual builders are the way to go. If not, let me know down your reasons why you think it's not the case. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time and goodbye.